In June, we have our wonderful, beloved Jan Lesechki coming back to the Chamber Orchestra. Uh, Jan has played with the orchestra several times now. He uh, is an incredibly gifted young pianist. Most of you will probably know him. He's been played on the CBC many, many times. He is still very young, I think only 19. He has a recording contract with Deutsche Grammophon, so you will be seeing recordings, if you haven't already, of, of Jan playing with some of the great orchestras and chamber orchestras in Europe. He is playing Mozart with us. Um, he is brilliant. And um, so I, I just encourage everybody to come and hear Jan and see him in the flesh. He is, our concerts with Jan always sell out, so you will want to get tickets very early to see him. Also on the program is a composer who we have actually played several times in the past couple of years, Dorothy Chang. And she is writing a new piece for us, a 10-minute piece, which we will be playing on the same program. And of course, the Janacek Second String Quartet, um, which we have orchestrated out for the full string section of the orchestra. And then we are also playing one of the Janacek String Quartets. Now, Janacek is one of my favorite composers. He is a 20th century composer. He wrote in the early part of the 20th century. He is Czech, um, but he has a very different and unique voice, very different from Dvorak and Smetna. And I feel that Janacek was really trying to do something incredibly original, so original that in fact, it's quite difficult to read the notes on the page often in, uh, in, in Janacek. Um, and there are now wonderful new additions that are bringing these pieces to life and making a lot of the things Janacek was trying to do, which he couldn't quite notate yet, um, these additions are making them clearer. So these two string quartets were really written by Janacek. Janacek was in love for the last, gosh, 15 years of his life um, with a woman who was married to someone else. It was probably unrequited love. Uh, Janacek himself was married, um, but somewhat estranged from his wife, at least emotionally. And these string quartets that he wrote are very intimate uh, explorations and portraits of the love he had for this unrequited love he had for this woman. Um, I recently performed Janacek's opera, Katya Kabanova, and that is his last opera. And in it, Janacek um, really brings a lot of the same emotion that he experienced from his personal life. Um, and he felt this woman he was in love with, um, her voice reminded him of a viola. And Katya Kabanova is an opera which is full of viola solos. He writes a whole part for viola d'amore. Um, and there are solos throughout the entire opera Many of the solos are in fact hidden because his love was hidden. So um, in this March concert and in the final concert of the year, we're going to explore these two string quartets of Janacek, the first and the second uh, quartet. Um, and they're going to be orchestrated out for the full string orchestra. And I feel this is also uh, appropriate because Janacek was one of these composers who was just stretching beyond the limits of the forms he was using. So to have the extra palette of the added string instruments I think will add what Janacek might have had in his mind as he wrote these pieces.